If you aren't careful, your inbox can fill up quickly and going through and processing all of the messages can be a hassle. While you may think I'm referencing your email inbox, I'm actually talking about your Evernote inbox. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, back with another segment on Evernote. And today I wanna to help you think about your inbox in Evernote. Quick reminder, if you wanna create a foolproof productivity system using only Evernote, check out my online course, Evernote for Beginners. Find out more by going to daveedwardsmedia.com and click on courses. So if you're like me, a lot of stuff ends up in your email inbox. I use my Evernote email address when I want to forward an email into Evernote. Now, this is important. I don't give the Evernote email address, my personal Evernote email address to anyone as I don't want anyone else to have direct access to my Evernote account. You see, my inbox is my collection spot. I mean, I get enough junk in my regular email inbox, and I only save the things that I know I may need in the future. So I want to make that decision, and that's why I don't share my Evernote email address with anyone else, especially to people who want to send me newsletters or other kind of promotional materials. I'll make the decision as to what gets into Evernote. Thank you very much. My Evernote inbox is a collection spot for me. In fact, when I take a note in a meeting, I put it in my inbox. I don't attempt to find the proper folder so I can put it into the right folder right away. Other things such as screenshots, files from Scannable, Evernote Clipper, it all goes into the inbox. Yeah, that means that by the end of the day, there's a lot of notes in my Evernote inbox. Because I follow the getting things done methodology, I'm a firm believer that you need to go through your email inbox every day and process everything so that every day you get to zero messages. Well, I think the same thing applies to my Evernote email account. I want to go through it every day and determine, do I need to still keep it? Where should it be appropriately filed, or can I just toss it? So here, for example, is my inbox and my demo account. And you know, while this is just a representation of inbox input, uh, it's fair to say that, that I put quite a few things into my inbox each and every day. And so I really do my best to zero it out by the end of the day. The key to Inbox sanity is that you are processing it, that you're thinking about what it means rather than just putting everything into a project notebook. Because it's just very easy to slide things into notebooks just to move things out of my inbox. But what if I put it in the wrong uh, notebook uh, because I'm in a hurry to leave a meeting or hanging up on a phone call? Well, this is why I like to go and triage my inbox all at one time uh, with a little time in between the time I've taken the note or put something in my uh, Evernote inbox, and then I'll have a clearer head when it comes time to actually processing. Before I get things filed, I want to make sure that any tasks uh, that are noted in any of my notes are not forgotten about. You can, of course, use Evernote's task feature to make that notation so that each item is noted as a task. So let's say I come upon uh, this note, which I took uh, in a meeting today, and it's in my inbox. Now, before I move it into the project folder for ABC Project, which is a, which is a notebook in, in my Evernote collection, uh, I come down here and I see, oh, there is a task that I wrote down during the meeting. Now, if it just stays in this document, I will forget about it until I review this note again, which is probably the next time we have a meeting about the ABC project. So before I file it, I now have the time to come over here and create a task. And now this bar comes up and I can just copy it because I took that note in the meeting and I can just paste it here. And now I can say, well, when do I want to follow up on this? Today, tomorrow, or some specific date in the moment? Uh, if I want, I can actually erase it from, I can erase it from this note because the task is going to remain in the note 
and it will also transfer to my task list. Now, if I just finished this meeting on the ABC project and I filed it right away into a notebook, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this step. I wouldn't have time to do it because, well, there's probably another meeting that I have to go to. That's why going back and triaging my notes before I filing them is important to me. Process in your inbox, while you probably should do it every day or maybe every other day, is key to keeping your system viable because it's not a race. You will appreciate it later if you've taken your time to put things where they belong. But never fear, if you can't find it later, you can still use the search function. Hope you enjoyed this segment. If you did and enjoy learning more about Evernote, please subscribe and hit the like button below.